Well, it is my honor and privilege to be here with you guys this morning to be uh, invited to this event, Kyle Wilson. Let's give a hand for Kyle for putting this entire thing together. This is unbelievable. The talent level here is insane. I've learned so much. How about Brian Tracy, guys? Uh, nugget bomber is literally the perfect term. I feel like I was taking notes the entire time. And uh, yeah, my name's Seth Mosley. I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. How many of y'all been in Nashville? I'm a music producer and songwriter, and this morning I want to tell, tell you a little story about how I went from my parents' basement to the Grammys, how I made it to Music City, and how I'm living my dream. My story is that I'm from a little town called Circleville, Ohio. None of you have ever heard of it, I'm sure. One person. And uh, we're not really famous for a whole lot other than pumpkins. We have this thing we call the pumpkin show. Our town is so proud of pumpkins that they even made a water tower that looks like a pumpkin. And my parents were so proud of the pumpkin show that they dressed me up like a pumpkin when I was a baby and entered me in the baby parade. I was on the cover of USA Today, Today Show, and my life has kind of been downhill since then. But no, just kidding. But I'm from Circleville, from a small town. I grew up playing music in church. And, um, my parents let me set up a studio in their basement. I had the opportunity to learn music producing and songwriting just by doing it over and over and over again. There was no YouTube, there was no Udemy, there was no Skillshare. We didn't have these kind of seminars to come to that I knew of, so it was literally just figuring it out. And eventually, I got up the courage to make one phone call that changed my life. And that was a phone call to a friend of mine who had a band, and I said, hey, I'm kind of new to this music producing thing, this recording thing. Can I get a shot to record your band? And they were like, sure, yeah, we'll do it for 100 bucks a song or whatever. You know, it wasn't, wasn't anything. But I didn't realize that later that was the thing that would get me heard because that phone call turned into another phone call that I got from a producer up in Columbus, and that was where I got heard and I got hired. So my question to you guys this morning is, are you putting your work out there? This may seem like a no-brainer because the level of talent in this room, of course, you all are entrepreneurs, a lot of you are creatives, but this is the first hump that a lot of people never even get over, is just putting your work out there for fear of what will others think. I was on the Real Estate Guys cruise with Robert Helms and, and Russ Gray recently, and Robert Kiyosaki said that so many people let the fear of looking stupid run their lives. And especially if you're a songwriter, we always say that being a songwriter is basically like getting in a room, and when you're co-writing with people, it's like getting naked for the first time. It's, it's so vulnerable. And so you got to put yourself out there. So that's my question to you is, are you putting your work out there? And if not, my challenge is that you would start today. So I worked in that studio for about 10,000 hours and uh, got my experience there, learned Logic and Pro Tools and all those valuable skills that I use every day for music producing. And I eventually got tired of just being the guy in the seat, being in the control room, working with the bands. And I started my own band and uh, went on tour about 120 dates a year. And um, I, I do want to back up. The first job, I was making $1,000 a month. How many people think that's a lot of money? Okay, so I'm going to speak to the millennials. I don't know if there's any more millennials out there. A couple, a couple back there. But I'm going to call you guys out because I think our generation would look at that and say, you know what, 1000 bucks a month, I got this college degree, I got this education, I'm producing these songs, I'm worth at least 40 and what are the benefits, and what are the blah, 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 blah. But here's what my challenge is, is that if you go into any situation, any job, looking for the money first, you've already failed. I had the opportunity to recently interview a mentor of mine named uh, Jeff Mosley, who runs a massively successful record label, and he said that most people would be smart to just look at their, their first job, not as a paycheck, but as a master's degree. It's an opportunity to learn in the real world. It's an opportunity to put what you've learned in the classroom into action. So that's my challenge. So I took that job, did that, and uh, eventually kind of got tired of it, started doing my own artist thing called Me in Motion. I spent about 120 shows a year on the road was touring, it. if you do the math, you've got to have a travel day for each of those things. So we were gone more than we were at home. And um, 
For me, I don't know if you've ever heard the term pushing water uphill. That's sort of what it felt like. I, I, I learned a ton. We got to travel the world, got to see many beautiful countries, went to, to, to about every single state, literally. And uh, the, the problem with me was that I was so focused on the details. I was, wasn't focused on the big picture. I was focused on the bottom line, how much product are we selling, where are we on the radio charts, and I wasn't focused on the number one most important thing that we as creators, because we're all creators in here, it's not just that me being a songwriter, I'm the only creative in the room. You guys are all creators. And the most important thing is how are we going to connect with another human being? And how are our songs or our work going to impact the heart of somebody else? So I was not focused on the heart level, which is where 102% of my attention should have been focused. So uh, this is a picture of me back then. Uh, that, that definitely is me. This is us playing in Germany. This is me wearing really tight skinny jeans. <laughs> and um, the one thing I will say is that uh, I, was, I was trying to do the producer-writer thing, and I was trying to do this on the road at the same time. And that was kind of what made it feel like pushing water uphill. But the one really good thing that came out of that, one of the many really good things that came out of that, was that we got the opportunity to tour in Sweden. How many of y'all have ever been to Sweden before? Okay, a few of you. It's a beautiful country, beautiful people, and I, I met one of those beautiful people and was able to take her to become my wife a year later, and uh, she's actually here this morning, so, uh, yeah, that's our daughter, Matilda, and uh, let me just say this, it was, it was a really hard time because we were trying to do too much, I was trying to wear too many hats, I was trying to be the producer-writer guy, I was trying to be the uh, the, the, the artist, I was trying to be the husband, and it just wasn't working. So the whole lesson that I took from that time in my life, and if you guys are note takers, write this down, because if you don't get anything else out of my talk, just let it be this. It's that if you chase two rabbits, you catch neither. Chase two rabbits, you catch neither. I was lacking the one key thing to make the whole thing work, and that was focus. And focus is this, check this out. It's fierce, obsessive, concentrated, unrelenting sacrifice. When I was trying to do both, I could not be fiercely obsessed with how I could become the greatest music producer or songwriter in my industry. I couldn't be obsessed over new music and new bands and, and, and discovering new talent. I couldn't be concentrated on growing my business. I couldn't be unrelenting because by definition, to be unrelenting at one thing, you have to relent at another. And I also couldn't make the sacrifice because to be successful at anything, you all know this, but you have to make sacrifices. But the key is this, make sure you're making the right kind of sacrifices. There's one sacrifice that I've never been willing to make and I will never be willing to make and that's the sacrifice of my family at the expense of my career. And I'm thankful for a wife that helps me keep that in check. But uh, I was able to make the sacrifice of my artist career to focus 100% on my new company, which I started, which is called Full Circle Music. And since we have started that company, we've won two Grammy Awards, four Dove Awards, Billboard number one producer of the year award, CSAC number one songwriter of the year award. We've had over 20, actually 22 now, since I've made this slide, number ones, and have gold and platinum records worldwide. So. Pretty good proof that focus pays off. It's also pretty good proof that anyone can do it. I have no college degree. I have no formal music education. I wasn't born into a musically successful family. I was 22 when I had my first number one, and I'm 28 now, so it's not about age. It's really anyone can do it. It's not about who's the most talented, not about who's the most qualified, or even who's the most trained. But it's about who has the most drive, the most passion, and who sticks to it the longest. But most importantly, and I want to echo what the speaker said yesterday, that the biggest thing it's about is being a servant. This may sound like a paradox, but I believe, and we believe in our company, that that is the highest thing in life that you can achieve, is to become a servant of others. So how are we serving now? We're on a mission to empower the next generation of producers and songwriters to make music at the highest level. 
And so we can change the music industry from the inside out. How many of you out there believe that music has power? How many of you have ever been so affected by a song that it made you stop in your tracks and you just had to listen to it? You had to pull your car over. I want to share with you a story that I literally just received this yesterday. He says, uh, he's talking about a, nine, a nine-year-old song. He said, I'm a 46-year-old husband, a pastor, a father of six, ages, he meant nine through 17, was diagnosed with diabetes last year. Since then, my wife and I have been trying to establish better diet and exercise habits with some decent success. I've lost 40 pounds, and we now walk about three miles every morning. That song, he's talking about this song I wrote nine years ago, has been part of my fitness routine and encouraged me both with its energy and its content. I suspect it has encouraged my spiritual health and perspective as much as it has my physical health. Just wanted to say thanks and to remind you that your music does make an ongoing difference. So I didn't share that with you to toot our own horn. My guys are in the, in the house this morning from, from Full Circle Music, and we're doing this kind of stuff. We get these kind of messages all the time, but it's only to remind us that what we're doing has power. And we believe in that so much that, like I said, we're on a mission to find and empower the next generation of music creators. And you are the first people, literally, I, I'm not lying to you, you're the first people to ever hear this, first time we're announcing a thing we're doing called the Full Circle Academy. Full Circle Academy is this. It's finding talent, empowering talent, and fast-forwarding talent. We're going to be doing actually our first live event. That slide's a little messed up, but it's August 26th through 28th. Write this down. Write fullcirclegoeslive.com. Fullcirclegoeslive.com. You can get all the info about it. Here's our socials. Love to connect with you on there. We're very interactive on Snapchat and uh, Twitter and Instagram. And I would love if you would check this out as well, too. i got a free gift for you guys. If any of you are aspiring producers or songwriters or know somebody who is, send them to this URL, freegrammytips.com. Freegrammytips.com. Write that down. It's a free guide, top 10 tips to success as a pro songwriter. So it's been my honor to share the stage with so many incredible people. Kyle, thank you so much for having me. And uh, I'm Seth Mosley, Full Circle Music. Thank you so much.